In this video, we're going to cover opening and unprotecting password protected files and sheets in Excel VBA. So a lot of times you have files and or sheets that are password protected because you want people to be able to use them, but you don't want them to be able to compromise the data that's in those files and sheets. And what we also need to do a lot is make edits to those password protected files and sheets through our code. So this video we're going to see how you can unprotect a sheet and unprotect a password protected file to open it, make edits, and that sort of thing. So what you see here, I have a master file. It is called master file of orders. It contains orders year to date, by month, order number, and order amount. Now this sheet here, sheet one, is password protected. On my network, I have a folder called file drop. It contains a file called orders, and this file is password protected. So when I try and open it, I get a prompt for a password. I input the password to open it and it contains orders for the current month. What we want to do is create code that will open this password protected file and append it to our master file where the first blank row occurs. So we want to be able to open a password protected file and then unlock the password protected sheet on this master file you see here. So the first thing you want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by clicking on the developer ribbon, clicking this visual basic button, or hitting Alt F11 on your keyboard. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. We'll call this subroutine unprotect. We'll begin by declaring some variables. First one's going to be called TWB for this workbook. It's going to be add the data type workbook, represents the workbook we're in now. We're going to have a variable called TWS for this worksheet. It's going to be as the data type worksheet, represents the sheet one of this master workbook we're in now. So we're going to have similar object variables for the orders workbook and the first sheet on that workbook that we want to open. So I'm just going to call this OWB and OWS. We're going to have variables for our password to unprotect the this worksheet variable. So we'll call this worksheet password going to be as the data type string. I'm going to have a similar thing for the password to open this orders workbook. So I'll just call this workbook password. We're going to have a variable called last row that represents the last, really the first available blank row below the last row on our master file where we want to paste our orders data for the current month to. So this is going to represent a row number wherever the first available blank row is found. So it's going to be as the data type long. So I'm going to begin by setting our this workbook variable this is going to be equal to this workbook, the workbook we're in now, the master file. We're going to set our this worksheet equal to this workbook. <clears throat> and then worksheets and the index number of sheet one. So what we want to be able to do here is first unprotect this protected sheet in this workbook, this worksheet. So I am going to define our worksheet password variable. That is going to be equal to the password to unprotect this sheet. 
the password is left 01. So we're going to reference this worksheet, use the unprotect method, and input our worksheet password variable. While we're at it, we need to define the last row variable <coughs> where we want to append our data once we open the orders workbook. So this is going to be equal to this worksheet again, and then we're going to use cells. For the row input, we're going to use rows and then count. That will count every single row on our spreadsheet, whether it has data or not. So it takes us down to the very bottom of our spreadsheet. We know there's always going to be data in column A, so we'll use column 1. And so we'll be at the very last cell in column A. And from there, what we want to do is end Excel up, if I can type here return that row number because that's like hitting control up arrow from the bottom of our spreadsheet that will take us to this cell here whatever cell has the last cell that has values we want to get the first blank row below that so we're going to add one to that so now what we want to do is set our other workbook variable that is going to be equal to workbooks and then open and <clears throat> we need to provide the file name as a string and since we're opening the file we need to provide a full path so I'm going to right click on it go to properties security and then the full path will be right there so I'll copy that this is a string so it needs to be enclosed in double quotes so I'm gonna hit comma here and you can see there is a parameter for password so that is what we will also define here to be able to open it so we're running out of space here so after this comma I'm just gonna hit space and underscore so I can continue this line of code on a new line going to use the keyword password here and set that equal to the password to open that workbook which I have not yet defined so what I also need to do here is set our workbook password equal to the password to open that so that is equal to trip 11 so I'm going to copy this here, set that there, and that should be that. That will open the file. So now we need to set our other orders worksheet equal to our orders workbook and then worksheets. And it is also sheet one, so that's going to be index number one. So now we want to copy the data on that sheet one once it's opened beginning in row two because we don't want to capture the headers so with this orders worksheet we're going to use range and to get a dynamic range what I'm going to do is nest two ranges inside of this range so the top end of our range will begin at cell A2 and then the bottom end of our range is going to also start at range A2 but we're going to end Excel down from there and end Excel to the right. So that will get all of the data to that is to the right and below cell A2. So what we want to do there is use the copy method and that has one parameter, the destination 
So I'm going to hit space and underscore again because I want to continue this on a new line. So we're going to type keyword destination. Set that equal to our this worksheet range and we know it's column A, the column we want to paste into beginning and then we're going to use the AND symbol to join this to our last row variable. So that should be everything we need to get the data into our master file. So now what we want to do is with our orders workbook, close it out. It will still have the password because we really just input a password. We didn't unprotect it. So that should be fine there. It will still retain its password. And now with our master file sheet, what we want to do is protect it again. So that has an input, the password. So we're going to input our worksheet password variable again there. That will protect it. And the only other thing we want to do is save our master file. So I'll F8 through this so we can kind of see what's going on. So it'll execute the code one line at a time. And what we should see here ultimately is this orders workbook get opened and then the May data get appended onto this master file here after this April data. So I'm going to hit F8 setting our object variables you can see our worksheet password is set to nothing now it is equal to our password so we've unprotected our master worksheet we're getting our last row variable which is row 108 we defined our workbook password variable to open this workbook here it is now opened there is the may data We're going to copy everything beginning in row two. We're going to close our orders workbook. You can see now the May data is appended onto our master file. We're going to protect that sheet again in our master file and hit save. You can see the May data is there. I have protected it again when I try and make an edit it says this is a protected sheet you have to unprotect it first with a password well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe